Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix off Ash and Steel game crashing, not loading, not launching, lagging, black screen or other issues on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to check system requirements. So make sure your PC meet the required specs. So what you need to do is just go to Steam. Now under library section, you have go to the uh, go to store option and here you have to search for the game now uh, after that go below and here you will find the system requirements to play the game make sure your pc have all the required specs and after that try to launch the game and check if not next method is to restart your pc for that click on the windows icon now click on power then select restart so this will restart your system after that launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue if not next is to modify launch option for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on general here you have to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and check if this works if not again come back type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not then come back remove this and then move to the next solution next is to verify integrity of game files for that launch team select your game under library section right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so once the game files are verified launch the game and check next is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows security now here you have to click on firewall network protection click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and here you have to search your game whether it's listed or not if not don't worry you simply click on allow another app click on browse now go to the game folder where your game has been installed so go to steam then steam apps common and here the game is here is the application you have to add it to the list now it's showing that already the game has been listed so let me search So the game is here you have to select it make sure both public and private boxes are ticked then click on ok and then launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue if not next is to update graphics card for that go to the windows search search for device manager now here you have to expand this here you have to search for device manager now expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will check and update your drivers to the latest version and after that try to launch the game and check nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next solution is to run the game from installation folder so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files so this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed here is the game application just double click on it and then check if the game is op opening or not if not you have to run the game as administrator for that select the game right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility then select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and then check if the issue is fixed if not again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and hit on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if not, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not, you have to deselect all uh, of this and then click on apply and ok and after that move to the next solution. Next is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution, then it directly impacts the game. So you are suggested to set up the settings properly and lower the graphic settings. So go to Steam, now click on the play button. Now here you have to click on the settings. This will take you to the game settings properly. Here you have to select screen mode is selected as windowed. So it's better you select it as windows. Brightness is 40. Here you have to screen resolution. It's better to keep it 1280 into 7280. FPS limit should be 60. VSync is on. You have to turn it off. View distance, keep it medium. Or normal texture filtering keep it normal lighting quality keep it medium or uh, low 
now shadow quality keep it normal then go below object quality keep it normal texture quality make it low and shadow quality already selected as low cloud type high make it medium or low effect quality make it low motion blur it's turned on you have to it's turned on you have to select off dls dlss is already turned off nfsr is it's selected as performance so keep this and then hit on apply and then try to play the game and check if uh, it's working fine or not if not close this uh, but let me stop the game before that now move to the next solution next is to stop overclock cpu and gpu settings so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of your cpu or gpu in the background this will help you to fix the issue next method is to disable in-game overlays so steam users go to steam click on steam option now click on settings and then go to in-game and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in-game option if it is enabled then click on it to disable it after that launch the game and check geforce experience users open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and switch off in-game overlay options for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab and switch off enable in-game overlay option next method is to install visual c++ files for that i have already provided the link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser now after the website opens go below download the visual c++ files after it is downloaded you have to open it now here you will get a repair or install option click on repair and wait for some time now after you get a set up successful message closes and after that restart your pc and then log into the game and check if it is working or not if not next method is to update windows for that go to the windows search search for check for updates now this will take you to the windows update page here if you click on check for updates and this will check if any update is available if yes update your windows to the latest version and then try to launch the game next is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on virus and threat protection then click on uh, manage settings under virus and threat protection and here you have to turn off real time protection so if it is turned off well and good if not turn it off and after that again go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall now click on turn windows defender firewall on or off here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings and then click on ok and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem but later on again enable the protection and then check if everything is working fine next is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list so for that click on add a desktop app now go to the game folder where your game has been installed so uh, go to steam now click on steam apps and go to common here you have to add the game to the list now go below search for the game so the game is here you have to click on the arrow icon under gpu preference select high performance and after that launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue if not then the final solution is to reinstall or fashion steel game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will remove the game completely from your system after that restart your pc once your pc restarts launch steam and again reinstall of ash and steel game and then click on play button to check if it is opening or not or launching or not so that's all for now in this video thank you